For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so next up, the amino acids that are degraded to alpha ketoglutarate. And how many amino acids are, they, are there that have their carbon skeleton degraded directly to alpha ketoglutarate? There are five, five of them. They are one arginine, two proline, three glutamine, four glutamate, and five histidine. Okay, so let's see what's going on with those. Okay, so we'll start off over here on the top left with arginine. First thing that'll happen is that we'll remove this group here. That'll come off as urea in the arginase reaction. And of course, arginase should be familiar because that is a urea cycle enzyme. It's a urea cycle enzyme. And of course, the product of that reaction after losing that one carbon is ornithine. Um, and this ornithine is converted into this ornithine is converted into uh, glutamate gamma semialdehyde, which basically gets rid of this amino group here in the side chain, uh, tacks it onto the alpha ketoglutarate to produce glutamate. And um, we get this aldehyde at this carbon right here, right, go from that carbon there to an aldehyde. And this is catalyzed by ornithine delta amino transferase, right, because it's not acting on, uh, not acting up here on the alpha carbon. Okay. So that gives us glutamate gamma semialdehyde. We can also get this semialdehyde from um, breakdown products of proline. So up here to the top right, we'll start with proline, um, which already has five carbons, so it doesn't have to gain or lose any to get to this point. Um, but it does have that ring there from the side chain coming back and binding to the alpha nitrogen. Um, so the first thing that happens is that proline oxidase will f cause the, uh, basically put a double bond between, uh, or across, between these two portions here. Okay, so we'll get that double bond there. And um, that double bond is cleaved such that this carbon ends up being this semi-aldehyde or that, that aldehyde carbon, okay? And so um, both proline and arginine end up here with this glutamate gamma semi-aldehyde, which can be turned into glutamate by an enzyme called glutamate semi-aldehyde dehydrogenase. Of course, that requires a um, NAD plus or NADP plus. And so we oxidize this carbon from going from an aldehyde to a carboxylic um, acid group or a carboxylate group. And now we have glutamate. Okay. And you'll notice a lot of arrows pointing at glutamate and that's because basically all these things end up as at glutamate. And then once we have glutamate, the glutamate dehydrogenase reaction can give us some uh, NADH or NADPH when removing off, removing that um, that amino group to give the alpha ketoglutarate that can go to the TCA cycle. Okay, so um, and of course, how do we get glutamate glutamate from glutamine? All we have to do is hydrolyze off this uh, amide nitrogen to give the carboxylate group, and that happens via the glutaminase reaction, which we've seen before. Um, so we free up that ammonium ion. Um, which of course would have to go through the urea cycle. Um, so that, that accounts for arginine, proline, glutamate, and glutamine. Now, how about histidine? Histidine, we'll start down here. So we got histidine here. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is remove this amino group and that hydrogen as an ammonium ion. And um, we're gonna put a double bond between these two carbons right here. And so that's gonna be done by histidine ammonia lyase or histidase to give urocanate, which looks like that. And that urocanate is going to be acted on by urocanate hydratase. And what that'll do is that'll get rid of this double bond here, make that a single bond, and also put a carbonyl at this carbon up here. Um, so that's how we get that carbonyl. And we got this single bond here now to give us this molecule for imidazolone um, five propionate, propionate, okay. 
and that can be converted into N-form amino glutamate by this enzyme in midazolone propionase. <laughs> um, and what you'll notice is that this portion of the molecule looks a lot like glutamate. Really, we just have this excess portion here hanging on to that alpha amino group. And that is specifically a form amino group. And that form that's why it's called N-form amino glutamate. And so that, that form amino group can get tacked on to THF in a one carbon transfer reaction to form N5 form amino THF by glutamate form amino transferase. Um, so once you get that one carbon group off, then you have glutamate, which like we said before, can undergo the glutamate dehydrogenase reaction to give alpha ketoglutarate, which can go through the TCA cycle and give us some energy. Okay, so I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you, and happy studying.